Well, the Messiah has arrived. It is time to embrace the vision. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! A multiple time WWE Champion and countless other singles and tag team titles in addition to money in the bank and winning the Royal Rumble. Yeah, but Saxton, now Rollins has a much higher calling, an even greater purpose. Well, that's what he would have you believe. I think it's all just a ruse to sneak his way into the main event, personally. Well, the opposition, I guess, needs to embrace the vision. They'd be wise to embrace the vision. Should they choose not to, the opposition will be embracing a beating. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 194 pounds, Sam Hunt. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. This match has everyone backstage buzzing. He is an exciting competitor to watch. And this Extreme Rules match is underway. The kind of match that can make or break careers. It's certainly a moment of truth for many superstars. An opportunity to display one's toughness and barbarity. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Yeah, legs caught. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Oh, he retaliates. And Tegiri finds its mark. Catches the kick. Into a dragon scroll. Game changer. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic! Fighting back with a counter! And a clothesline! With all the destruction, with all the carnage, Byron, is there a key to victory in something like this? There cannot be any hesitation. Uh oh. Oh no! No, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Oh. Rollins just a step too slow. A running Hurricane Rana. Beautiful. Rollins got out of the way. And Zagiri finds its mark. And back in the ring we go. Setting up the oh, double leg drop. Oh, what a four. Oh, lights out. He's taking some good hits. Yeah, but he expected extreme pain in an extreme rules match. Completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Enough already.
just like that. Rollins dodges. Ducking out of trouble. Oh my God, a clothesline. Oh, solid form. Exchange of counters there. Placed in the corner. Knife edge chop. Oh, kick. oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. Oh, stomping away. Enough already. He's taking this to the floor now. Of all the toys underneath, look at this. Oh, the Pyrus doesn't pay off. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. And misses on the springboard. And finds a counter. He avoids the damage. And it's a gear He's on his heels a bit now. Well, you don't sign up for an extreme rules match without knowing the consequences, Cole. No escape for him. Rollins dodges in the nick of time. And Rollins capitalizes. in that area could leave him dizzy. He got whipped into that. Springboard. Rollins just turned the lights out. Cover! Shoulder up before the count started. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. Rollins is starting to lose his temper. He needs to put that aside and refocus. Seth Rollins may be looking at the record knee. A frenzy of attacks from Seth Rollins. A messianic display of offense from Rollins. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. Look at this, going counter for counter. Rollins assembling an attack. Ah, oh, red in there. tonight. Seth Rollins made it a win.
the head of the table has arrived. The following contest is a Fatal 4-Way Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Corey, Roman Reigns is one of those once-in-a-lifetime talents. Few superstars thrive under pressure and shine on the big stage like Roman Reigns. You know, when you think about the many eras of WWE, you think of Hulk Hogan, you think of Shawn Michaels, The Rock, Stone Cold, John Cena, but this right now is the era of Roman Reigns. In the grand scheme of things, Roman Reigns is just getting warmed up. Complete domination of WWE. This has brought his family and the locker room in line. And we should all be thankful that WWE has Roman Reigns. Guys, here is the man who invented pay-per-view. The boss and his opponents first from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 248 pounds, Mr. McMahon! You know, Corey, when sometimes we show up at hotels in different towns at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, Mr. McMahon's there with his trainer heading to the gym. The physical embodiment of success. The man's got grapefruits the size of small planets and has to feel like a billion dollars stepping into the ring amidst his own creation. And from Tokyo, Japan, Weighing in at 224 pounds. Here's someone who has faced some tough odds and tougher opponents, but always gives it their all. Look, I, I know you think that's a good thing, but this person could learn a thing or two about the value of running and hiding. Oh, uh, yes, the value of being a coward. A competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. And here comes the multi-time world champion.
from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R superstar, Edge. Edge was the, the first Money in the Bank ladder match winner, Grand Slam champion, an incredible career here in WWE. The ultimate opportunist, no stranger to the big stage. One of the most accomplished superstars ever to... Here we go in this best of three falls match. Really a test of the superstar's stamina and energy. It's also... Okay. In their creativity. Doing the same thing twice might be a detriment to you. You need a deep arsenal to earn two falls in a match. Corey, what happens in a match like this when a competitor is down a fall? You have to take that time between the falls yeah. to make necessary adjustments. All the pressure's on you to avoid getting swept. Oh, you are yeah. behind the eight ball. Every oh. move becomes critical. You have to put up all the stops to even the score. The sooner that happens, the better. This type of contest is so an absolutely that didn't work decision made there that could be very costly don't know if the risk was worth it returning to the ring now yo what the fuck <laughs> oh you know I know exactly I know who exactly I gotta be in the next match I gotta I gotta be Andre in the next match fuck the roster fuck the roster it's gonna be weird It's gonna get weird. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. Scaling the ladder now. Oh, that was Charlotte's spear. That's even better for Vince. Yep. Jesus fucking Christ! Just cross bodying the top rope. I, I have to edit my uh, title because this is just random shit. That's not even in the game anymore. It's sad, we used to have the Brother of Destruction version at least. And just bring it on PS2. Yeah! I can play Just Bring It on a phone now, and that's the coolest fucking thing. I, I can play it, I can stream it. If I could get Parsec working on it, that'd be fantastic. If I could get that working through Parsec, that would be a fun time. If not, we'll just bug GA or something. He knows how Parsec works. 
I got all the cool stuff. Oh shit, why am I not just getting up? Oh, I found like a really good one. I have a BIOS file that has everything I need for Japanese games, European games, all that cool shit. Uh, King of the Coliseum is fun. It's not even blurred that well in the fucking showcase. I'm not paying for Slim Jim, damn it. Fuck that. I'm not using my retirement fund for that. Not that I'll ever retire. And then three months later. Oh, well. Edge and Roman just took the riff out. Hayabusa does an elbow drop to the ladder. Roman's getting his ass kicked. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Okay, Roman Reigns. Alright, glad that helped. I was stuck in that animation. Uh, 2K never changes. George the Lateral Steer. Yeah! Tribal beef flavored. Ramen Reigns. Yeah, that game looks sick. Uh, no idea yet. Uh, I don't even know, uh... I don't even know if I'll be able to afford it on release, but I will eventually get it, and it will be here. Will be a top game. In your face. That's how you do it, Vince. Get up, Vince. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I saw a better option. Fine, you set the fucking ladder bridge up. Oh, yeah, gotta make him look really strong when he wins in the end. I was hoping you'd stun her again. <laughs> this game doesn't always allow for crazy spots like that. Oh, my God! Oh, shit, that reminds me. Um, I I got a stone cold. Uh... Oh, shit. 
I got the. Uh, I got a Stone Cold uh, Funko Soda thing. Over the weekend. As many as it takes to look strong. Oh god. Alright, Vince, uh. Ah, oh, shit! George Steele! Eat that turnbuckle post. Oh shit. I just ate the Slim Jim logo. Okay, this Roman is weird. And I know it's weird because it's. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Get back in the ring, Vince. I got something to set up. Interesting spot to be setting up the ladder, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He has him right where he wants him. Whoa. I don't even know what's happening right now. Get in the ring, Roman. Ooh, what, what, what the fuck was that animation? All oh, right, rever <laughs> reverse X Factor. Did Edge just win the Royal Rumble? Moppy wasn't just bring it too with Fred Durst. Just go into the crowd, grab Moppy as Fred Durst. Keep rolling. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Taking this to the floor. Fishing for something beneath the ring. It's alright. I'm grabbing Terry. And now with him going for the table, we're just in straight up appetite for destruction territory here. There's nothing on the limits? Nope. I got Terry and I got other Terry. What the fuck? Did you see the steps go flying? Finally! Why can't we get in the ring on this? Hit? There we go. Alright, Edge, there's only two ways this can go. And it's the flying 69 on the ladder. I'm part of the ladder now. Okay. Oh. Short jab. Raining down those shots to the back of the neck. Edge went through it. Oh Perfect spear. Oh shit, this isn't false cut anywhere. I just wasted that. Fuck. <laughs> Coming back in the it's alright, I got plans. There goes my you're fired, bud. What the fuck was that cell? Edge puts the table out, the fire magically goes away. Because you don't have it. You're you were so close. that I forgot they changed oh fuck I'm I'm injured and everything nah Christian's a pussy you heard you heard you 
You heard Jack Perry say Christian's a pussy. My stamina is fucked right now. I need to get that shit back. That's why I can't do any crazy shit right now. This is how people get seriously hurt. No way. Yeah! He is truly feeling it right now. This is wrestling. This. By the way, we had Fight Forever Chance in the first BSW match back, so they're promoting AEW. This is just Eugene's moveset. Holy shit, I just realized that. Vince and Eugene have the same moveset. The hell was that, Roman? You slipped and just changed trajectory? Tough position to be caught in here. Are you kidding me? Oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Big counter for the Reigns. No. <laughs> Spears only. Fucking young buck. It just doesn't take deals. <laughs> oh shit. to take the pin. Yeah, I know. Gotta look strong. I'm not taking a loss. Fuck that. Nah, nah, nah. Did I get pinned? Did I get pinned? Yeah, but I didn't lose now, did I? I'm I'm breaking out some you're gonna see something special tonight. I wanna play as someone better than Roman Reigns. Somebody on your somebody on your Nah, fuck that. This match already rules. There's a lot to live up to here, boys. <laughs> All right, big Afro Andre. Big Afro boy. Ah, oh, shit. This is WrestleMania's main event. We're spoiling it now. <laughs> we uh, we have to taunt at the beginning of the match. That's the only thing I ask.
Oh, or I have a perfect tone if you sing a song. This isn't the fun part, get out of here. I skipped myself, so. We need to see the main eventer, the hurricane. Look at Andre leaving the ring for the hurricane. The legend. The man who was so popular in three count, he had to put a mask on to stop the fans from rushing him. Yeah, fucking The Rock put over the hurricane. How do they know that Shane Helms under the mask? I need to ask some questions. No fucking way. Oh, then you must know Gregory Helms too. <laughs> the man that trained Logan Paul. Is this a little uh, pee pee pants, Andre? Nah, blue pants. Got his nips out, feeling sexy. Why did my game just call him Edge? Don't consider this superstar. Wait, wait, wait. I do know who needs to hear this. <laughs> Edge is looking a bit different these days. On this day, I see clearly. You want a peanut? No, don't hit my wife, Beth Phoenix, with the chair. I'll do anything. Peanuts for life. Please. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. I'm going to get Brock Lesnar next. What the hell? If there's ever been a man who belongs on the big stage, it's the beast. Oh, shit, not Benoit. You know, fun fact. Fun fact about Benoit's theme. Uh, Michael Cole, <laughs> Michael Cole, Taz, Jr., King, and the coach all have his theme in the first SmackDown vs. Raw game. Yeah, they all come out to Benoit's theme. Every non-playable character you can unlock with a game shark or whatever has Benoit's theme. <laughs> And Cole, with great mood as a moveset, makes him the scariest hidden character in any wrestling game. <laughs> Brock began his yeah, Michael Cole is the guy. They're doing doing spots! All right. Here we go. Oh, how'd you do that? Get up, big man. Is that a flying ass bunch? 
guts. The ruthless nature of an extreme rules match means only the toughest superstar can succeed. So you have to be ready to really put your courage to the test. Oh man, he's got him scouted. I just want to do some spots. Pop the marks. Your hair disappeared for a second there, other Andre. What the fuck was that? Andre to 3,000. Get up, Hurricane. And that failed to hit the mark. And Hurricane fends him off. I don't think anybody can stop the beast from coming. You see, that's not very ethical. Catering's not going to be happy about that. How? Ladder is just landing on my throat. Out of here. Ow, what the fuck? I think with this taunt, I can glitch into the audience. Popping off RVD taunts. What the fuck was that? He steps foot in the ring again. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a rag doll here. He's absorbing some tough hits. Oh, yeah. I did what I thought I did. You have to be willing to sacrifice your body a bit, guys. From the ring all the way to the floor. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Double team. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I just want to pop off a uh, 
What the? F <laughs> Flippy Andre is the greatest invention in professional wrestling history. Don't fucking move, ref, you bitch. I try to keep it interesting with Andre every year. Ricky Shea made his triumphant return this, uh, this game. I don't think I have him right now, but he is uploaded. I thought he was gone forever after they took him out in 2K20. Yeah, cover. Unbelievable presence of mind. Oh, Suplex City. Because I wanted to crown the hurricane. Selling that shit. Oh, I'm gonna hit this poison rod on somebody. One day, maybe. Oh shit. There are moments where time stands still in professional wrestling. Ah, uh, well. This one is all but over. This crowd is truly unworthy. Network errors, aren't they great? Alright, we know what to do. Beat the fuck out of this fake Andre. You got. Yes! Are you are you still in the game? Because it said you left the game, and but you're not calmed. That this is something else. Two <laughs> K, everybody. Somehow. I hope not. is Nikki. Porn? Look, I'm on Twitch. I don't want to get TOS'd. I'm still live here. 
<laughs> Which reminds me, I should stream BMX Triple X, because, uh, that's not going to get me banned at all. Had the hair to pull for that. Son of a bitch. <coughs> Vicky? That time it was me. <laughs> Mario Cut? Yeah, I play that game. Fuck yeah. Mario Cut 64, bitch. Completely missed. I did not clear the landing at all. Fuck Slim Jims. I don't need that shit. I eat, uh. I eat thick ricks. Bigger meat sticks. I was never threatened as a child by Macho Man to eat anything but a Slim Jim, so. Those commercials were basically Macho Man yelling, If you don't eat a Slim Jim, I'm gonna kick your ass! In a cage! Yeah, where the fuck is that son of a bitch? He's missing the greatest Andre the Giant of all time. Flippy Andre. That was supposed to be a flip. Yeah, big flying ass. Oh, I wish. <laughs> he already exists. It's, it's uh, Ricochet. Ricochet. I got uh, I got him up on Community Creations. As well as Prince Pumaga and Yoko Puma. I got the whole damn bloodline. Yeah, Yoko Puma! I uploaded that shit the day the DLC came out. That was the first thing I did with all three of them. Not a match, but Yoko Puma. <laughs> Letting Brock get a pinfall to do some crazy spots. Why the fuck not? This Andre just looks like an overgrown Eugene. Uncle Eric, I'm Andre the Giant. What the fuck was that? I'm just fighting a ghost now. And the mic is built into the PS5 controller, amplifying the sounds of the... That makes sense. <laughs> that, that makes sense, but I do see a flaw in Sony's design. I'd say you guys should send me a free PS5 just so I can do some testing. Wink, wink. 
Everyone in this party gets a free PS5 for product testing. Wink, wink, Sony. Always could use a backup. Dude, six hundred and seventy fucking dollars. Fuck that. I can't even afford anything. Right, it's five seventy. Ah, close. All that did was get Brock up. Yeah, I can't. I'm barely able to afford a PS Plus sale when that expires. So, fuck that. I gotta go uh, get somebody up. Not VR. Don't sit too close to the TV, but ow! Yeah, that seems like it's gonna sell terribly. <laughs> yeah, display purposes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, officer. I didn't. I told him it was for display only, and he went and played Dark Souls anyway. I'd use it with Resident Evil 4. I'm that goddamn good at that shit. You get your brain exploded if you get your head cut off by Chainsaw Man. They cut your head off in real life. <laughs> Alright, you died. Capcoms, keep to your end of the deal. Alright, here's the Chainsaw Man. Wait, what? A lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people bought this game, but they don't play past the first encounter with Chainsaw Guy. What? Uh, what's going on? They don't. Do they not like Doctor Salvador's redesign? Oh my God. Ah, oh, shit. Vertebraker. Yeah! Hurricane Brock Lesnar! <laughs> it was Andre and Andre versus Brock and Hurricane. I mean, it, it was... It was a last-minute decision by the referees, but... Brock Kane won. Anybody else fucking showing up? We can... We can do fucking five ways... In this online, so where the fuck is everybody? All right, uh... Ask, uh, ask, ask Mecto for me. Well, if he's champion, then you win by default. Just claim the title for yourself. Claim the title for yourself. Yes, I, I, I agree. The, the prestigious women's championship that nobody cared about. <laughs> Just like run with it with a guy. Just just make this like no mercy. Yeah, and give it to Triple H even if you don't have him. 
I am the women's champion because I transcend this business. Uh, he probably, like, smashed it and went, Oh, no, now we gotta upgrade! And went and bought an Xbox. Yeah, who the fuck should I play in this one? Yeah, he's got an Xbox Series, uh, Series X Pac. <laughs> he got it for free, only to press a Madden, basically. Yeah, that's what he said in the chat, so... I wouldn't pass that up either. <laughs> you can get some pretty sick mods in some games, but that's about it. Yeah, you can get some... You can fucking... Oh yeah, you can easily just fucking jailbreak an Xbox with just a fucking third-party app they got on that shit. Yeah, people fucking... They usually get taken down quick, but they get put back up just as quick. There's a little bit, but they're mostly just like, fuck it, games are for fun. Meanwhile, Sony will shut you down if you say they suck. Sony, you suck. Okay, I'm good. That's a good fucking question. Did we not notice? <laughs> Is it just us in party too? Oh shit, he's not in party anymore either. Fuck. Well, we did too much to, to other Andre. Well, that was then. <laughs> Then it was a three-on-one handicap match. Nah, nah, it became three-on-one. <laughs> Triple facing of one. Yo, I wish Marty and Moth had this game. I would just invite him. Be like, hey, you want to play some 2K? And be like, why? I really don't want to have to make another lobby, but I will make a triple threat lobby if I have to. Oh shit, I forgot I downloaded an LWO already. I don't know if that's easily doable. Alright, I know. <laughs> okay, that's... Why can't we add the AI this year? What the fuck? Who all's even online? Who can I harass to get on 2K? King's on, but I don't think he'll be wanting to get on. We could we could always ask him though. Only one that matters, Jimmy King. Nah, no, fuck Jerry the King. We got Jimmy King. Well, in this game. In this game, there's three kings, so you can make the KKK perfectly. Yeah, but Jerry has it as a middle name. <laughs> you mean Xavier Woods? You got six with all that. Alright, I'm making a triple threat lobby. Um... Where will this match take place? We can change this up now that we had to make another fucking lobby. Mm, you can't use customs online, unfortunately. Yeah. 
I mean, technically, I have WCW stuff, but. Eh. Saved me a lot of time with BSW this year, at least. And then everything died anyway, so. Let's make the game! You press start and the game just goes, TIME TO PLAY THE GAME! Every single time. <laughs> He'll put himself on the front cover like Vince did with the first SmackDown vs. Raw. <laughs> one eye is blue, one eye is red, his nose is yellow for NXT. Use the game in the game known as WWE 2K, the game, game edition. The Nintendo PlayStation box 316. The Nintendo Play Box 316 coming this fall. No, I'm still trying to figure out what arena we're doing this at. <laughs> if Princess Peach's castle were in this game, that'd be great. Alright, fuck entrances. That's where Hulk Hogan joined the, uh, the, those guys. <laughs> yep, that's Hulk Hogan. That is the most pure form of Hulk Hogan there is. Like Hulk Hogan's classic catchphrase, Miss Elizabeth, will you snap into a Slim Jim? Ah, shit. Running around like an idiot in your trunks. Bang, splat, real fast. What are you? 
Chicken. Who can stand up to Braun Strowman? You sold all those shirts. Where's my percentage? Vince doesn't have any more plans for you. You're fired. You'll never work for this company again. <laughs> Congratulations, Hogan. Someone's putting me over tonight, brother. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so who are Braun and Hogan fighting at Bash at the Beach? Thousand pound Andre the Giant, brother. I took my bandana off because somebody muttered it. <laughs> I still don't understand why Hogan has it in his contract. Don't put me in a game without a bandana, brother. I'm not bald, dude. because Hogan would just do this without a problem. It took him an entire 20 minutes to try to lift Andre, but he'll just lift Braun like nothing. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, you know, it's like that song that they can't use in the game says. Stand up next to the mountain, chop it down with the edge of my hand. Voodoo Child Hollywood Hogan. Oh, God damn. Just to break your neck off the rope, Austin. Uh -oh, this is not going to well. Break your neck again, Stone Cold. God damn it, Hulk. Why'd you. I'm going for the ref. There we go. D you oversell a bit there, Nick Patrick? Oh, wait. That's Nick Patrick. I'm Hulk Hogan in the NWO. Shit. I got this match one and I ain't even got to do nothing. What the fuck was that? Crap. That was the saddest signature I've ever seen. Oh, look at this. Out to the it connects and I don't get anything for it. Nothing but an apron spot. You know what? I'm pissed now. Okay, sorry, Steve. What? <laughs> he's outside the ring now. Oh, he's got a play. You know Hulk Hogan infamous for doing these crazy ladder bridge spots? Why does that kid have an I'm your poppy shirt? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh -oh, I don't know! Going to end well. Oh shit, I hit the ropes differently. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Brother dude! Oh shit! <laughs> That's the best part about the ladder bridge. When you miss. Hey. Put him down. Okay, good. Can I lift Braun? No, he's too big. Come with me, dude. I bet Saxton this would have been over by now. Never mind about what I wanted to do, Jack. I forgot. This is the only time I've ever seen Hulk Hogan have the most hair in a match. <laughs> Waluigi? I bet he's playing Waluigi. Because he didn't want to buy Crash Team Racing for PlayStation? I bought Crash Team Racing for PlayStation. You got it on PS1 or PS4? Ah, oh, shit. Ah! Oh, my back! What the fuck? That was a reversal? <laughs> Just simply bump on your head, Hulk. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna break my neck to avoid getting my neck broken by Braun. I'll do it myself. Braun <laughs> steaming. 
Why didn't... Why doesn't anybody remember Brain Strowman? He was Ezekiel before Ezekiel was Ezekiel. Yeah. Time, brother. Oh, never mind. I mean, it could be. Oh, rock bottom! The brown bottom! <laughs> That's not brown Strowman. That's the rock the whole damn time. I can't believe it. I can't believe this. There he is. He's cutting a promo mid match. By God. Austin pissed off now that he knows that's really the rock underneath that Braun Strowman mask. Hogan's the greatest rival. WrestleMania 18, it's a rock. <laughs> the rock has already told you. I'm gonna drink a big glass of milk. The great one says you can kiss his ass. Rock talking trash. Ding bong, ding dong, he's no go I Just a match of thong wearing fatty. <laughs> It seems like you have a little problem understanding the English language. Here, here, me, here, me. Fucking slow ass, Hulk Hogan. I still can't believe we found out Braun Strowman was really the rock this whole time. Oh shit. Ow. I don't think so. It's my pin, dude. Yeah, Jack. <laughs> bang, bang, brother. Oh, shit. <laughs> Million dollar dream, dude. Get on the ladder. <laughs> Refusing to bump for a Hogan. That's why they never had a match. Oh, shit. Hogan stealing people's pinfalls. Being a dick. This is Hulk Hogan at his finest. Listen up. Hulk Hogan. All 
ultimate puke, Sergeant Slaughter! Your weeks, your days, your hours, your sessions are numbered. Unbelievable, more like inhuman. And you've got to wonder if desperation starts to kick in for Stone Cold or if he stays the course. He is a sight. Too sweet, brother. I'm Kenny Omega, dude. That's weird. It shouldn't be that way. What happened to this game? Did they change the weapons so it fucked up my weapon wheel on this mode? What the fuck? He's distracted with the ladder. Why did you hop the ladder? You maggots are all dismissed. You heard Hulk Hogan. Why the fuck does this site have a nails soundboard? I've been waiting for this day when I was sitting in that six by nine cell for the past two thousand. Four hundred and seventy-eight days I laid awake thinking at night when I Jesus got fucking up, Christ when is this one end? To the big boss man. Well, there's only one person I could think of to be now. I'm glad I'm not there. Oh, no, no, Pat McAfee. Cody vaccine, all right. Cody vaccine it is. <laughs> Cody vaccine, that's going to be his gimmick when he returns. And here comes the third shot of Cody in WWE. He'll come in the rumble as a booster. Yeah, no, he he's not back yet. No! Oh, it says we're all ready. Waiting for other players. Yeah, you're <clears throat> you're both ready. What if somebody just said, oh, no, not yet.
this son of a plumber? The man. You're talking about all man. He's a real big dude. Woo! Huh? <laughs> I've got the star and profile like never before. When I get to town, we're going to treat all you women woo, the way women ought to be treated. <laughs> Why don't you get in a Mercedes Benz and be a real man? Riding around in that funky motorcycle? Woo! <laughs> Unless somebody else shows up. Where the fuck they are. What about recharting? Oh wait, that sounds fucked up. That's not what that was supposed to be. That was supposed to be Stone Cold going, what? All this and the bell hasn't even rung yet. Oh, there it is. Yes, the Attitude Era. Rikishi, Edge, and Cody Rhodes. One of us is always in the wrong. <laughs> Well, all three of these guys were in WWE 13, and that was the Attitude Era game, so... I hope it's better than the death matches in ECW. That, that, those ECW games sucked. That's not the Cody Cutter, but okay. You know, I'm not even thinking. Can can you guys even see Cody's logos, or is he just some weird dude? Oh, cool. Cody without logos is kind of terrifying. You could have been the uh, Ministry of Assness. Shit, Seth Seth is mocking Cody from the back. Dude, am I dead? Okay, never mind. Well Well Seth Rollins would simply just become Seth would be referred to as Waluigi from there now. Sephiroth! Sephiroth wins. Kenny Omega is Seth's brother. Oh, 
I wish we could just rot rotate a stick and steal signatures. I definitely sink face for Kishi right now. One winged angel, oh shit! There it was. Mocking Cody's old uh, workmates. Nah, that was a loose representation. Why am I- wait, I landed on the apron. That's just how the elite work. You can't one-winged Angel Edge. Cody Fatu. Part of the bloodline. I mean, we do have the same hair. <laughs> Kishi Rhodes. Son of a Samoan. The condom man, Rikishi. All right, no Cody Cutter. I was... I wasn't even aiming for you. Edge ducked it. Kishi got hit and rolled out. But I did it for The Rock. He can't be mad. Edge has won the Royal Rumble. We got people in I'm Your Poppy shirts nine years before that was a thing. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing and it could cost him. Ooh! The adrenaline is pumping and the WWE Universe is on Shield! Oh shit, never mind. <laughs> One of these guys has a gold record for a single song. No, no, it's Rikishi for put a little ass on it. Top tier wrestling song. Greatest song on that album. Which isn't saying much, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Riff. Things might be getting a little out of control. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pattern. With that Chris Jericho song playing? Well timed counter on edge. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. He is looking to do some serious harm. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. 
Oh, right, you do do the stink face. Well, you know, it's... The referee will put it back on. Watch this some bitch. Watch him. He'll be all like, what the fuck happened there? And he'll just start putting him back on. Yeah, he will. No, he does. It's busted. I mean, did I? Oh, shit. <laughs> Carry on my wayward cheeks. So you can still do that way. Oh, um, um, I just did it and I forgot. Grapple and L1? Yeah, grapple and L1. I've given you your ass back. Edge doesn't want to take the stink face. It's bad for business, Adam Copeland. He wouldn't mind if Beth were doing it. Should have taken the ass face. Okay, maybe not. All right, Sultan, time to get up. Ow! Fuck! Yeah, get up, Sultan. Your tongue got cut out. How are you talking now? Rikishi has a great story. He uh, went from not having a tongue to singing. Started singing about putting a little ass on it after his tongue got cut out. Maybe that's what made it grow back. Why did why did I just I was hitting the button? And Cody's just like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> you know, sometimes you gotta I'll do it again, I'm not afraid oh, What the fuck was that? Came from AEW, Rikishi. We don't kick out at nothing there. Once again, no count. No cell. Ow. <laughs> You're gunning for anything. Get up, Dad. You're Cody. You're, you're Dusty, right? You got a spot on your stomach. You got the blonde hair. Rikishi was Dusty Rhodes' WWF name. It was. It was definitely his name in ECW. By the way, Dusty Rhodes is the only guy to appear in. Um, Dusty Rhodes and Raven are the only two to appear in WCW, WWF, and ECW games.
Uh, he sometimes does. What the fuck was that, Rikishi? He sometimes does, but it's not very athletic matches. You can, you can scissor us next. Because Rikishi's on his uh, New Japan run. He is the king of ass style. Edge used to team with Randy Orton, who was my mentor at one point. So that makes him my brother. No, Randy's my daddy. Even though Edge is, Edge is older than Randy. Someone will hit someone eventually. Oh, that was total elimination. All right, two post massacre. It's not even a paper. Wait, this is a pay per view. It's, it's Bash at the Beach. No, I don't got Nintendo. It was Nintendo. I have his GameCube. Stunning Steve Austin in a Pokemon game. I'm gonna catch me a Pikachu! I'm gonna catch me! Meowth! I'm gonna catch me one of them little Charmanders! I love Meowth! That little son bitch! You use payday, you get extra coins! You crack open a Steve Weiser with Meowth! They ask Kate! Steve, you're gonna let it evolve into Persian? Ah, ah! I'm gonna ride my Lapras across the ocean. I'm gonna fly on the back of my Pidgey. And we're gonna take on the Elite Four at WrestleMania and whip French McMahon's ass! That's Kenny Omega. What? That's Matt Jackson. What? That's Nick Jackson. What? That's Hangman Adam Page. What? And at the end, I'm gonna walk up to Tony Khan and I'm gonna tell him the A in AEW means Austin. The E means eh, eh and the W means what? <laughs> I'm gonna catch me a magic carp. I'm gonna train that little son bitch till he's big and strong, and then he's gonna be a Gyarados, and I'm gonna take that Gyarados, and I'm gonna whip the ass of the Rock this Sunday. The Rock and his Geo dude. Ah shit. I'm gonna go to Lavender Town with all the dead Pokemon and I'm gonna call out the Undertaker at the top of that tower and I'm gonna look him in his dead eyes and I'm gonna say, Dead man, you killed my Pokemon and I want some revenge and I'm gonna get it tonight when I whip your ass at Unforgiven. You killed my beloved Lapras. I sailed across the sea, I gotta catch another, and they're not so easy to find in the Kanto region. The there. Then I'm gonna go to Johto, I'm gonna call out their little television champion, Samoa Johto, and I'm gonna whip his ass too.
And Vince McMahon, he handed me this Pokédex and said, Steve, I want you to fill this out. I looked at him and I said, What? He offered me three little Pokemon. He said, Pick one. I said, eh, eh. I took all three of them sons of bitches. I took me the Bulbasaur. I took the Squirtle. And you bet your ass I took Charmander. Okay, I can't no-sell that one. I saw Squirtle and I looked him in his beady little eyes and I said, Ah, ah, that's ditto. Okay. But have you beaten Tony Khan for the Elite Four badge? <laughs> Where the fuck is everybody else? Stone Cold Ash, catch him. Later. <laughs> and that's gonna leave it off. If I went to the right damn screen. <laughs>